this is one of the top selling vehicles. There are lots of minivans on the market, but only one comes in all-wheel drive, and that is the Toyota Sienna. Yes, Honda makes a great Odyssey, Chrysler has a great Pacifica, and Kia has a Sedona, the people mover, not a minivan. This is one of the top selling vehicles, and we're lucky enough to have the loaded version, so we get a chance to look at the 2018 Toyota Sienna. Let's go for a ride. The XLE is pretty loaded. It's got a 3.5 liter engine in it. Very easy to drive, nice grippy steering wheel. Everything's right in front of you, exactly what you need. And number one, there is tons of visibility, lots of glass, even out the back. When there's no one in the third row, the headrests tilt down, which I think is really important, should be there, or the ability to get them out of the way so it doesn't impact your visibility. Lane departure alert, unavailable below 32 miles per hour. Yes, there is lane departure warning, there is an eco mode. There's a lot of nice safety features on this vehicle that you would want, especially when you're transporting a family or a bunch of other kids. The center stack is really easy to use. All simple buttons, nothing unusual, nothing that would make you say, I have no idea how to use this. Navigation system is pretty simple and pretty basic. And then you head down to the middle area here. You've got the shifter right here in front of you. It's a little different. It's something that everyone's starting to do to give you more center console space and to make it more intuitive. Charging ports galore everywhere, tons and tons of cup holders and lots of storage, including a gargantuan center console for a purse or whatever you need to put in there. On the vehicle that we're test driving, we only have a very small sunroof here. It would be nice to have a full glass roof. But again, this is a personal choice because if you've got little babies in back, you probably don't want the glass roof because you don't want them to get too hot. The one nice thing about this Toyota Sienna is the steering is very specific. It's not over boosted, it's easy to drive, and the brakes are nice and firm. That's really great because when you're driving a vehicle, you need that confidence. You need to know that there's safety and a reliable car to take your family places, and the Sienna does do that. So what is second row seating comfort like? Let's take a look. So once you're in the second row, there's a couple things you need that are nice. There's a button for the door right here. Really good for kids. Make sure their hands are inside before you close any doors, especially little kids. But there's also climate control in back so you can adjust it. Sometimes you want a cooler in back or warmer in back. It depends on the person. There's a 120 volt connection in the back. This is great for regular charging of a device that maybe would be in a home. But in the center, there's also two 2.1 amp connections for charging. Perfect for iPads or gaming stations that you wanna take on the road. This will make your kids very happy. If you own a minivan and you love it, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. What, what's your positives? What's your negatives? Because I think other people wanna know that too. I'm not a minivan person. I personally would prefer an SUV but there are lots of people that like this, especially when you got kids coming in and out with the sides that open, very convenient. All the links are down below. Follow me on all forms of social media and don't forget to sign up for that Car Coach newsletter. We'll see you next time.